Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about L-shaped rooms. Well, we all know what those look like. We got this situation, you know, we got a long hallway. Um, so the goal here is to try to, and it's always two channel listening in these situations, because this usually is a living room. No professional studio usually has this problem because they don't allow it to happen. It wasn't incorporated into the original design. And there's lots of reasons why, and I think some of them are pretty obvious. But the goal here with two channels is that we want to set up, you know, in the positions of the room where we have that front wall and we have sides and sides, okay? We wouldn't want to set up here because we have no side wall. So the goal is to, you know, get that triangle, that left and right channel in the listing position, positioned correctly so that we have both side walls and a front wall contiguous. So ranging the speakers correctly, watching the fact that we have the front and side walls, because we do have requirements with two channel audio that must be met. It just makes treatment and issues. And the open part of it can be the back part of the room. So you, you can release pressure, if you will, in the back part of the room. So how do we maybe change all of this? We could put mobile units on casters, create our little room, so to speak, with the side walls. So if you have an open area in your room, it's not the end of the world. We just have to have the right distance and volume in the L part, one of the parts of the L, you know, the bottom or the top part that, you know, we can work with. So don't lose hope. It's not hopeless, but you are going to have to make some compromises because Two-channel stereo has requirements that must be met. Remember, it's the direct energy. It's a balance between the direct energy from your left and right and the reflections off the room that we have to work with. So in order to do that, we got to have boundary surfaces that are X distances and stuff so that we can manage that correctly. And we can, but we can't have one side open, you know, and one side not. That just simply won't work. So L-shaped rooms, not hopeless, but we do have to make a few more compromises than a rectangular room. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.